actually been a very good conference for our company today. Uh, we've attended many conferences across the United States and in Canada, and I will say that this conference has actually opened the doors to additional financing pathways that aren't usually available, and it's a thank you very much. So I will say that this has been a great conference, and I will say to our previous presenter, I sat down and talked with him, and I would say uh, you should sit down and chat with him for a little bit. Well, it's really simple. It's while, they're getting the, uh, while they're getting this up on the screen, I'll let people know who we are. LGC Capital is a TSXV listed company. We are registered as an investment management company, and we are actually one of the few players out there that have operations globally. We've actually been told by a number of people we're actually one of the purest European plays out there. Why is that? Well, we started off in uh, Australia uh, about two years ago. We met a company that some of you may have seen in the media recently called Little Green Pharma. Little Green Pharma is the only company to date in Australia. And just to give you an overview of us, we invest in domestic operations globally. Okay, we're not in the United States. That's just our choice at this time. If it becomes federally legal, we'll do that. I think you'll notice is that when you're dealing in international businesses, like in Australia, Italy, Geneva, all that, you have to be very conscious of the fact that the banking is key. So we want to go to stable regions where we can do that. Ah, very good. I love the Hummingbird logo, by the way, because it's quick and it's small. We have 12 people in our company, but we have, if you look through our portfolio, over 200 people worldwide making this business work. Legalese. How big is the global cannabis opportunity? I think we've all been hearing this a lot of times, but I think it's timing here that's more important than to the market. For example, the European market, which, which we are in today, is going to reach $98 billion five years earlier than the US. There is fragmentation, there is business, but there is opportunity there, and you're going to see why. Everyone loves the Canadian market, but it's $10 billion. Okay? Look at the opportunity. It's 10 times, and it's going to grow. Legalization Europe, globally, it's happening. And it's going to keep happening. And you'll rem remember this screen, and then you'll see where we are. Key statistics for Europe. The number one thing you need, 742 million people, potential patients. I've told people before that when you look at the THC and the CBD market, let's put it this way, this gentleman here sitting in the front row, you are the THC market, congratulations. The rest of you are CBD. Health benefits from cannabinoids, we all know this. We're all professionals, we all know what works, we all know what doesn't. And quite frankly, innovation is something that LGC prides itself on, and we're gonna be seeing that going forward, and I'll illustrate this. Now, for any of you that would like a copy of this, you can obviously get it through the Bazinga Group, but if you go to lgc-capital.com, this deck is there for your use. Here we are, this is us. Now, I'm based in Toronto. My Vice President Daniel's here with me today. We're based in Toronto. That uh, leaf there of THC and CBD is our Montreal asset in Brownsburg, Quebec. Why do we do it in Quebec? Easy. It is a bespoke built facility. 34,000 square feet, two, two floors. It is built. They're applying for their license with Health Canada. Why did we go to Quebec? Real simple. The price of power, ladies and gentlemen, is a third of that of Ontario. It is a category killer. It is going to be GMP pharmaceutical grade. Love it. We invested $4 million. Comparables in the market today that you see in other operations, just for the building alone, $25 million. Now you look to over in London. What do we have in London? Hold on, I'll go a little bit further. Let's go down to Parma, Italy. Easy Joint. Easy Joint owns, controls 85% of the CBD market in Italy. You'll see their flag, you'll see the map shortly, but there are over 450 locations, 11 stores, and when you speak of locations in Italy, imagine, if you will, a dispensary machine, much unlike you know, the vending machines you see elsewhere. You put in your tax card, you put in your Visa card, Visa card, and you can buy a gram of bud right out of the store, right out of the machine. And it's CBD cannabis light. It's 0.2% THC, the rest is CBD. Why 2%? Because that's the rule. If you look at what's going on in that country, and this is something we make sure of, every company we work with doesn't push the envelope. Because there are people getting cracked down at 0.5% THC in that country. Now, we'll get into that in a moment. You go to Geneva, Again, we invest in a company called Verity. Phenomenal branding products. And that's the other thing, too, we've got to talk about here is branding. 
They have a beautiful portfolio of products that you'll see. Pre-rolled cigarettes, cosmetics, buds, oils, capsules, and the like. Between Italy and Geneva, we have a thousand points of sales throughout Europe today. And then I'll talk about our expansion. And another thing that I will get back to here, if we go down to Perth, Australia, which is our first investment, we own 15% of a company called Little Green Pharma. Like I said, they're the only company that's able to produce and sell medical cannabis in the country. And it's in the ground, going to 2.1 million by 2020. That actually puts us right up there as a partner with these companies. You want the products? Here are the products. Verity, you see the vape sticks. Actually, that blue box, it's actually quite funny. Another gentleman from an LP was actually in Geneva. It's a pain, medic, it's a pain uh, cream. He uses it, swears by it. It's nice to get that kind of feedback from friends in the business. Easy joint, tinctures, and also cannabis light buds in the stores. The other thing that they have is actually pasta infused uh, CBD, CBD uh, infused pastas, chocolate bars, coffees, drinks. So there's a lot of products out there. Now you look at Little Green Pharma, that is a beautiful thing. It's the only one by Australians for Australians. And then we have continuation with the Geneva with one, video, one premium cannabis. And right down in the middle there, you'll see a little red a white box, a little red dot on it. That's five pre-rolled CBD cannabis light cigarettes at 1% THC that is sold in over 500 locations throughout Switzerland. 500 stores, product, whole scope, and it's selling. Easy joint. Great brand, and actually it's really nice. Luca Marola is actually a visionary. We like investing in pioneers. I don't care if you're a startup or a major corporation, you're always gonna to have to be a pioneer in this industry. Luca has actually gone and spoke to the EU on making this industry what it is today. So to have him on our side is an absolute win. He's a wonderful man, and quite frankly, I see many more things coming out of Easy Joint in the next little while. And again, flowers, products, everything. Little Green Pharma, we've talked about that. They're act we're gonna see some activity out of them this year. I think you'd be very happy to see that. Again, one premium cannabis, you have the buds. Now let's talk about pricing. For Easy Joint, they sell a gram of their cannabis light bud in the stores anywhere between 10 and 14 euros. It sells out. The other way that they do it is that they actually control and buy. They create the seeds, they sell the seeds to the growers, they buy it back and they control the pricing. It's a beautiful scenario. Where are we going? Innovation, innovation, innovation. Because you have to give the choice to the consumer. It's not the LPs that tell the consumer what to buy, it's the consumer telling us what they want. And we're listening. So today we have all these products on the left, but what we're looking at is heat not burn, filter capsules. Let's put this in perspective. British American Tobacco actually put a little bead of flavoring in the cigarettes. Pop the bead, sales went up 10%. This is the type of innovations that you have to look at. And again, we are going to be expanding this. Now, our team has been growing over since I took over as CEO two years ago. And I've been, I've had, Daniel has joined us from another LP in Canada. Another one is actually from 25, 27 years of British American tobacco. The key in the European market is getting into the tobacconist shops. That's the key. So you'll see multiples of these locations growing over time. And here's the team. Myself, I'm based in Toronto. Remy is based in Geneva. Daniel's based in uh, Toronto with me at our Toronto office. And Anthony's based in London, UK. Our co-chairman lives in, uh, one lives in London, the other lives in Monaco. And we have boots on the ground in all of our locations. As you say, here's the board of directors. Today, our, to give you an idea, while we're here, our board and uh, COO were in London talking to with strategic partners. Now, we'll go through uh, all the investments here. Now, we've talked about Trichomed. That's our Montreal office. That's our Montreal operation, Canada, Global Canada Labs. That's nice. Actually, just as a side note, something that came up unaware to me, but if you all saw that Hindenburg report, that came out against Africa. It was actually unbeknownst to us, not even asked us. They actually said that we did a good deal. So for the first time, a short report actually went long, said this is a good guy. So that's a nice win. Italy, we talked about easy joint. We have 47% equity with that. We're working with the exchange for final approval. Uh, Evolution Bank is another growing operation. Uh, they're actually gonna be doing more cannabis light 
in the area. And the best part is that with these networks, as countries evolve, such as Italy, when medical THC becomes available, we have the platform. We have the ability. Same goes with Australia, Verity as well, UK. The beverage business with our partner Creso, based, they're listed on the uh, ASX, but they're based in Zurich. And it's CBD infused beverages and beers. Actually, Dan and I went to the launch in London, and at that same, uh, that was about uh, six months ago, and they won medals. So we believe that THC and CBD will grow in tandem. We believe the market is obviously going to grow. That's why we're all here at this conference. And I would say that the evolution of our company, LGC, is to take over majority interest in some of these companies so that we become what everyone is asking us to become, which is an operator. That is one of the things that we are considering seriously this year. And you'll see that, I would say, before, before soon. We'll update the market in a timely value. As you see, we have uh, 380 million shares outstanding. Insider ownership is 35%. Our head office is listed in uh, Montreal, but like I said, I'm based in Toronto. I'm there with my wife and kids. We like Toronto. And David Friedman's up next. <laughs> Any questions?